<laughs> Listen, I have a big one. This one is major. It's Hollywood and a couple of good Hollywood faces. And guess what? You're playing the lead role. And this one is worth two million dollars. Two million. Fuck us. When is it? I like that. I like it when that green comes to your eyes. <laughs> About it, babes. It's happening this weekend before this time. Are you crazy? You mad? This weekend? Don't you realize I just pulled to bed and my baby is still tender? I realize that. That's why I keep too. I think I know if I had the best nannies in the world. Or better still, Momsi would take care of the baby. Momsi is not doing anything now. What's the big deal? Ray, you wicked. You are so insensitive and heartless. Well, I'm wicked now. I'm selfish for bringing you a deal that big. You know what? I'm talking about you. You're an ingrate. That's everything I've done for you. You're an ingrate. That's what you are. You know what? It's you and your Hollywood. I would not step on any movie set until my baby is six months old. What do you mean six months? You're trying to tell me you're not going to walk for six months just because you put to bed? What you want to be sitting around here living off me for six months? Girl, you better check it because there's no how the world. Listen, that baby's mine too. And I say we dump his ass over here and let my mother take care of her. That's what's up. I, I stand to make a decision on that baby too. I'm so surprised at you. After I've worked my slave ass for you. And you. You don't even care. Like Hell, I care. That's why I asked you the first time. Are you fine? And girl, you said yes, you were fine. And from where I'm standing, I can see the damn baby too. The baby's fine. So what are we talking about here? The baby don't even know what's going on. Let's just dump the baby over here and go get some money. Shut up. Don't wake up my baby. Get out of my room. I don't want you to shut up. Out of my room. Get out. No one, I don't have to deal with this what, shit. What, what's going on here? Raymond, what did you do to her? What did you do to her? If you don't change your attitude, I'm going to take her with me. Now get out. You're kicking me out too. What is this world turning to? You're rebelling, she's threatening. You know what? I can't deal with this. I don't even know who's your husband anymore. I think it's you that's your husband. I am. Yes, marry her and adopt the baby. That's fine. I'll find somebody else and take care of this Please. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave. Don't push me, I'll leave. Alright, mom? I'll leave. Goodbye to both of you. Father and daughter, take care of yourself. Alright? Go to sleep without all that peace. several petitions against your police from fellow directors, actors and even producers, members of different guilds in the industry complaining about you that at times you force your wife out of production if you're not the one directing. At other times you force her to a role even when she's not the best cast for the role. You collect money from executive producers to produce a movie for them. You ended up not producing the job and when they ask you for a refund of money, 
you insult them, you abuse them, you self suspect. I just received an email from Sal, Screen Actors Guild of California, that were kicked off from the guild because of the same people they were expecting. I'm sorry, we have no better you, you investigated me? You had the audacity to, to violate my privacy, my own fundamental rights, trampled on it, and you investigated Take care of it, okay? I have no part in all this shit. Come on, let me just boil water. I'm in the kitchen, she's in the room. Help me out, please. Help you out? Do what? You wanted a baby. You take care of the baby. I'm going to the club, man. What the f are you talking about? I've been working my day in this house, cleaning, mopping, cooking for you and the child, and you can't just do me one little f favor? Lady, excuse your French. Alright? Come on, what are we talking about here? You made them bad out because you wanted to have a child. Now that you have the child, go take your Oh, shut care. the f away. I wasn't banned. You were. And you were banned not because of me, but for your unprofessionalism and your lack of respect for your, for your fellow colleagues and, and the marketers. You better watch your mouth, man. Be responsive. <laughs> Don't jazz the game when the cold, the black is of death. 
actually I can see well at night. too good at night. Ah. So, what's your name? Jessica? Yes. Nice name. You? Me? I think um, you and I were one of a kind. My name is Ray. I'm a movie director. Good. You know, 
if I capture this spirit of yours, this vibe, this aura, capture it on film, it's gonna be awesome. Really? Sick. Sorry about that. <laughs> Seriously, huh? <laughs> I've all I've always wanted to be an actress. Always. Well, I'm your dream maker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, Piggy, I'm gonna call you. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna make it. I'm oh, sorry about that. Cool. Cool. Yeah. That's my card. Wow. I'm losing now. No way. Mm -hmm. Got some stuff. <laughs> Not here. Why don't you help and we take a little ride? Hmm. It's my Your car. car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh. Well, thanks. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? Some. All right, grab your hat. Let's roll. Yeah, my hat. Mm -hmm. Over there. Over there. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry about your car. That's <laughs> okay. Shit, I do that shit sometimes too. Car girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he's over there. Of course I know what's over there. <laughs> 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 My house is not comfortable. Yo, yo, I didn't say that. I know for certain I didn't say that. It's just that, you know, you know, man, it's, I just can't do it, not today. Come on, my love. I just want to have you around. I'm just fine. I think I have something you'd love to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're bad in flicks for me, you know that? <laughs> It's really shocking how fast you're becoming a star. Oh, I've heard two topics. But all the same, I'll fix it. I'll do what I can. I told you I'm going to do it. Alright. I'm going to everything. Oh, okay. Okay, in that order, right? <laughs> Listen, you know, I'd love to come in, but I don't want no damn Bruce, man. That is exactly what I am praying for. Because mm -hmm. that way I become more popular. You know. You're unbelievable. You're <laughs> unbelievable. I don't know how the hell I met you, man. Honestly, I wish you could come. I love you. I love you too. Let me let you go first since you're here. Go in there, get some rest, look beautiful tomorrow. I love you. Good night. Good night. And be good. Always. Hey, yo. Don't stare at nobody but me. Nah, nah, nah. Just yours, baby. Just your butt. <laughs> Alright?
Um, I got my camera make it today. Well, my wife suggested I steal my phone today, and I thought it was okay. What do you mean with your family? You promised you're going to be with me today. You said you were coming. I'll make it up to you. Wait, there's, there's no, there's nothing you can do to make it up to me. Just don't bother. The only way you can make it up to me is to come here right now. Oh really? Okay, I'm, I'll be there very soon. Okay. He said I'm beginning to choose the enemies. I love you so much. Sweetie, are you okay? Uh, guys. Hey, baby. Um, listen, I need to run. I have an appointment. There's a client waiting for me at the office. But you promised to stay with us today. I know, baby, but this dude is really weak. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Can you just wait? Baby, I'll be back. It's important. Okay? Hey, baby. Bye-bye. Daddy will see you later, okay? Bye. Have fun. Now, watch you. Don't go to the deep end, okay? You said he'd be here by 12, and it's already 1 p.m. What's keeping you? Who, who is this? Who is this? Uh, I'm Ray's wife. Oh, madam, I'm so sorry. I didn't... I mean, I didn't know that... Uh, no, no, no. Please, 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 please don't, don't cut the line, okay? Who are you? Why are you calling my husband so now? I'm so sorry, God. I, uh, oh my God. Please, please, don't. Stop. Put your phone on vibration. And she called. I answered. You were supposed to meet her by 12. 
I mean, so it's true. All the about you, all the people I, I, I read about you that you're having an affair outside our marriage, it's true. All the love that I showed to you, I, I let you have everything. You just a cheat on me. In a way, I can I can take anything from you, okay? But I can't stand you cheating on me. I'm sorry. She's just an actress and manager, but she wants more. She wants to on me. I keep telling that girl I'm a happily married man. Don't you see what the problem is? You know how crazy this industry is. She keeps pushing. You have told her she sent me on the phone that I can't do this shit. I can't even find girls that get attracted. He just throw themselves at me. I can't have this good thing when I go out there. I was going out to tell her, listen, you need to quit this shit. Don't, don't come into my, my marriage and put a span on it. Don't put a span in my marriage. This is your honor of God, please, baby. Now you cheat on me. Absolutely. I'm gonna go over there later and tell her listen, this shit has to stop. Baby, what's up? 
you do? This is not, not my daughter. You've been seeing her, haven't you? Yeah, okay, you know what? Let me call you back. See who? Oh, please don't you dare lie to me because I know that you're still seeing her. Hang on, babe. Gina. No, no, not in front of the kid. Can we talk about this later? Well, I found this in your jacket. They're obviously not mine. And even if they were mine, I wouldn't put them in your jacket. Listen. Oh, please don't even give me that crap. I mean, how many actresses have you been with before me? You don't even love me. It's so obvious. You just, you just need my face. For your selfish ambition. To make money for yourself and embezzle everything I've worked for. That's why you have not even felt one remorse about cheating on me or even inflicting pains on me. Why? Me? Me? What have I done? Why are you doing this to me? Maybe that is emotional. This is logical. I'm a director. I mean, I could have seen the earrings on some cast I didn't like or something doing shit and I put it in my pocket. Lies. You know, lies is what I see written all over me. What is going on? Nothing. No adult conversation, you know, between mommy and I. Why is she crying? <laughs> Baby mommy cry all the time. You remember that time in the morning when I told mommy good morning and she started crying? Okay, you don't remember, but it happened. I'm telling you, mommy's so emotional, I don't get it. <laughs> Come on. It's a weird shit. How did you manage to put all this together? All thanks to my husband, you know? I never wanted a loud birthday party, but his sister will make it loud. You know? I'm so sorry I heard about your band. How are you handling that? What are you going to do about it?
for you everywhere. Jessica. Jessica. Uh, and Rusha. Yeah. Oh, I think I might have seen your face in a movie or two. You're pretty new, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I must say, honestly, you do inspire me a whole lot. I like your movies too. Thank you very much. Um, so, what were you guys discussing? Business? Another new job? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm managing now, um, Jessica. Again, I was talking them to come in for managing. Nobody does it. Um, I think that's all right. Let's get back in. Jessica, um, so call them this week at the office and they're coming in. Um, Miss Jessica, this is a very pretty dress you're putting out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, it's my design, my concept. Really? I have a take. That's really nice. Then maybe I could actually stop by for a picture. Oh, that would be wonderful. No problem. Oh, no. Actually, I'll give you a card after the party. All right, sure. That's fine. Would you like Honey? All right. Honey, we need to go inside. Yeah, yeah, sure. After. All right. Think girl is done. Too well, while I'm here. You're sleeping with my husband. 
I beg your pardon. I, I don't believe you're a coward. But if you prove me, then I'll see that you are a coward. I see. Well, for your information, your husband and I are so much in love. That is if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Yes. Impressive. Well, I think you should stop deceiving yourself, you know. My husband is just lost in your passion. But for you, I know it's just mere business for you. So what are you insinuating? Well, you know, Jessica, I know you too well. I have all the information I need about you. Let me start this way. In 2003-2004, you were in Cano as a stripper in Calypso nightclub. That same year, you got married and got divorced. And yet again, you moved into Lagos to become a stripper again. I mean, Jessica, don't you ever do anything about from stripping? Bad reputation, I think. You went into Lagos, she became a stripper in some nightclub called Bolingo. And you met a chief, Dan Dinko, Danko, whatever his name is. You got married to him after he chased his first wife away. Six months after the marriage, he died mysteriously. After which, you moved on to another nightclub called Page at the Keja where you met some certain man called Mr. Solo. And you made him chase away his first wife. He got married to you. And he died after three months. Again! Another death. Whoa. And after he died, you were battling with his property, with his first wife and his first son. And the heat was too much for you and you ran away. And three months ago, you went again to a nightclub called La Cassera to become a singer. And here you are, in the movie industry, just to spoil people's home and dreams. What a record. You know, I never even admit so much impact in the world. Oh, Gina. Nice records. So, how did you get all that information from me? <clears throat> well, let's just say that information can be bought. You're just wicked and vicious. Don't look it. And I must say that you don't even look your background. I'll take that as a compliment. You must learn, Gina. Whenever the music changes, the dance step changes with it. Well, listen to me, Jessica. This time around, the dance step will be difficult for you to dance. Oh, no. Not at all. That is because your husband is so much in love with me. Besides, I'm a fast rising thing in the movie market. That means your husband needs me to make money, enough money to be able to feed you. To perhaps make you look better. Oh, shut up. And stop deceiving yourself. You know what? My husband is just going to use you and dump you. I know your target. You want him to send me away from home and then get married to you. Oh, that really scares you, doesn't it, Gina? But since you know, what do you want? Well, I'd say I want you to leave my husband alone. Oh, I will call the police on you. <laughs> oh, Gina. Gina. I mean, after having a very, very fast mouth, you are very dumb, aren't you? What? what makes you think that the police will believe every single word of anything you say at all? You know? I believe you're familiar with the saying that goes beauty and the bonus. Of course, yes. You think I would walk into the shop without having this conversation back at that? I think you must be the one who is done. Look, I warn you for the last time. Leave my house. Oh. Place 
Who? Jessica. The lady introduced me to us and it was party. Is that right? So, <coughs> you went out to waste your time as usual shopping? Well, no. I didn't go out there to shop. I went out there to ask her to leave my husband alone. Okay. So, am I under arrest? You ask me. Look, Bri, I know that I do not any to you right now, okay? Range. That's why you can cheat on me and have the boldness to my face. I mean, just tell me. It's obvious that you do not love me. So why the fuck did you get married to me? Why I got married to you? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. I got married to you because I'm one of a kind movie maker. There are few people with my kind of skills. When I rolled into this godforsaken country, I had to look for somebody with acting potentials. Somebody that I can make my confluence with and make mad money. When I saw you, I picked you, brushed you up, and made you a star because it was simple. I was going to make you more money than all your poverty streaking generation were. Constantly maltreats me every day without no cause. It's okay, darling. I am going to solve it, okay? I will solve it. You know what? I'm taking you out of this country. You know I had wanted to do that when you had Stephanie. But you told me it was going to change. You've seen it now. Raymond cannot change. It's okay, darling. It's okay. It's Raymond. I don't like that attitude of yours, Raymond. Why do you have to beat her up like that? You should have asked what she did before coming over here, Mother. Raymond, she is your wife and not your girlfriend. And you must learn to treat and respect her like that. What difference does it make? She's a woman, isn't she? 
Come on, mom, get with the program. You know the deal. Once a woman begins to think she shares equal right with you in the home you run, clip it. Shut up. Shut up and stop talking like a barbarian. For goodness sake, you're educated, Raymond. You should know what is right. I'm African, mother. Really? Yeah. Generations pass before me. I've always taken care of the women like this. I'm a black man. I can't change who I am. I'm not a star. Neither who she is. Look around you, mother. This place smells of success. My success. And she thinks she can raise shoulders for me? Mother, I take care of my business. No, you don't, Raymond. Because if you do, you wouldn't beat her up like that. Let me tell you something. Let this be the last time you will ever raise a finger against my daughter-in-law. I hope I've made it clear enough. Well, hold up a minute, Mom. You know, I don't appreciate that to me. I don't want to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what the problem is? You've not gotten over the fact that I'm not a child anymore. This is a man that wants things now. I sneeze and all the wooden people catch cold. I squeeze balls and careers are made on mark. <laughs> Damn, mother. I haven't decided who breeds sometimes. I'm freaking like a little god up here. So don't come to my office and tell me how to run my shit. Are you asking me out of your office? Oh come on mother, think whatever you want to think. Ask yourself whatever. I'm the captain of this boat right here. You go find where you run. At least until a man tells you what to do. Raymond. You better change your attitude, or it might destroy you.
doctor, a moral story of Muhammad. What exactly happened? It was an accident. Accident? She looks like she was severely beaten and stabbed with a pointed object. Well, I. Well, our point is, Doctor, why don't we dispense with the questions? Just tell me how she's doing. Anyway, she's fine, but I'm afraid you can't see her now. Very well. I, uh, I'll ask my mother to come over and take care of her. And then I'll get my assistant to sort the bill out first thing tomorrow morning. It was just my mother-in-law and my daughter that came, but they just left a few minutes before you guys stepped in. <sighs> it's really surprising, you know. Looks are really deceptive. I could have sworn on anything that Ray can never do this. He looks so calm and collected. I'm really surprised that he could be this brutal. That's what I thought at first. Until I got married to him. I prayed each day that things get better between us. Well, it only get worse and worse by the day. I don't know if God just sits out there and, and enjoys me being punished because I I did not have a family. I don't know how why God hates me so much. To put me in the arms of of someone as wicked as Buddha as he is. What have I done to God? No, don't say that. Don't stop it. We we'll have to report this to the police, okay? I'm gonna help you do it. Hmm? Yeah. No, I can't. I can't do that. No matter what Ray does, he's still the father of my child. And moreover, Ray can buy his way out of the police and they turn the story against me. Nothing is gonna turn against you. They're just going to scare him because he wouldn't want to be on the record so they're going to give him a warning and that's just going to put him off, trust me, it's nothing. No. No. I can't. David, I do not have a family. I do not have a mother or father, brothers or sisters. I don't have any. Nobody to stand by me. It's okay, I understand how you feel. We're gonna be there for you, okay? Yeah. I really understand you're you're deeply in love with him and you're scared, that's all. But it's okay. We'll handle it. Okay? from seeing your wife. I'm really sorry. It's really terrible. Oh. David, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. They won't let me see but that's fine. No, well, I, was just, I was just wondering. Sorry. Uh, what really happened? Accident. She had an accident. An accident? Oh, you mean like, like a car accident? An accident is an accident. An accident. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, you know, she, she just looks like she, she was beaten up. That's all. I was wondering. Did you beat her up? <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm really sorry. We'll come back and see her.
I don't want to get even in this life. I don't want to even get close to him. But Sidra, we've got to do something, okay? He didn't suffer. Something like what? Can't you see how arrogant he is? I don't even want to get close to him. Please. Okay, let's get the police involved or something. We've got to help out. Yes, yeah. yeah. Look, this is a husband and wife affair. You have to be careful how you interfere. Besides, she's madly in love with him. Oh, what okay. bloody love. She's not a confused offer, and that's what I say then. <sighs> Whatever we think, we leave it to happen. Mommy, okay? why's the pool so dry? Oh, you know I'll soon travel back. So there's no point letting the water stay there. Ah, oh, Stephen, baby. Come on, darling. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm just to take some. Just take it easy. to see my family. It's not yet time for them to go. Oh, come on, mother. You can't continue this. What is all this? This is my family I'm talking about. My wife. My daughter. I can't take this shit anymore. Raymond, you talk as if you care about them and um, love them so much. You are so unrepentant. They stay with me. When did he get to this? Who could always talk, you and I? Okay, I made a mistake. A fatal one. And I'm sorry, it's just exuberance. No, I wasn't prepared for family life. But I know better now. I, yeah, I understand better. They miss me, mom. You can't keep me away from my child. And, and, I'm, and I miss her. I, I miss my wife. I love my wife and my kid. But don't do this, mom. Don't do this. Are you serious about this? Mom, mom, look at me, man. I'm not, I'm not fly anymore. I'm wearing this shirt. I'm, I'm not looking fly. Okay, I mean, okay, I'm okay. I'll let them come back to you, but first, I have to talk to Gina, okay? Take care of it. Daddy. Don't worry, my darling. You will see your daddy, okay? I promise. You would see him. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gina. I think you have to go back to Ray. He's a changed man now. No, Mom. I can't. I am so scared to even step my foot in his house. I can't. No, you don't need to be. He's your husband. You can't run away from him. Mom, I know Ray so much. I know him up to the extent to know that he has not been sincere. That he's not repentant. That he was, he's still going to hit me over and over again if I go back. I know him that much, Mom. Gina. He has promised me that it's going to change. Please, go back to him. For the sake of your daughter, please. Please 
Stalin. Listen, I bought you some chocolate. Do you want to check it out? 